Baby doll beauty couture shop is speaking. How can I help you? <laughs> what makes my salon different is that this is a plus size friendly salon. Right, that's really cute. Okay. Hi, my name is Jamie Lopez. I'm the CEO and owner of Baby Doll Beauty Couture Salon, and I'm 31 years old. set up this place because I was humiliated in a regular salon. I went there to get my hair done one time and you know I went to sit down and greet my stylist and the chair loudly broke and all eyes were on me and it was a really horrible experience. I knew I wasn't the only one that ever had to suffer something like that so what I did was I saved all my money and I had this dream and I was like I'm gonna make a salon that caters to the plus size women because I know I'm not the only one that goes to this. I know Jamie because I go to a lot of the BBW bashes. I'm a big, big fluffy girl. So having a place where we go and can feel comfortable. I'm really confident and I still feel out of place sometimes. I'm from Texas, I got Texas sized assets. So when you come somewhere like this and, and feel comfortable and not feel out of place, you know, $50 taxi ride over here, you know, it's worth it. Everything here is custom made and reinforced so there won't be any humiliation or anything broken. Chairs that hold up to 800 pounds, you know, pedicure benches that hold up to 600 pounds, waxing, you know, big girls want to get waxed too. Like everything is gold, everything is glamorous, you know, so you won't feel like, oh, you know, you're in this, this special chair. No, it's not a special chair. Every chair here is the same. I want them to feel like they're getting the royal treatment because they might be going through something on the inside, you know, they might not feel beautiful. So when you come in my salon, I serve you with cupcakes, mimosas, whatever you need to just relax and really get into your element. It's really important to me to make them feel even more beautiful when they leave than they are when they come in. I didn't go to salons until after my divorce. I had never had my hair done. I had never had a manicure or pedicure. <laughs> And after my divorce, I realized that my life was passing me by, that everything I'd worked for was gone. I had to start over, and I started over on me. I think my nails are the everyday reminder. And now you're gonna have to give me a tissue. Uh-oh. I thought house and cars and, oh crap. I'm gonna have to cut that out. Um, house and cars and, you know, decor was important and it's not places like this they, they lift you up they boost you up as women we should be able to get beautiful anywhere what is it that you like to do i want bling bling bling, bling color bling because bling makes me happy <laughs> okay let's bling bling what i do need is my makeup done in a little bit <laughs> <laughs> Baby Doll Beauty Couture, Shante speaking. How can I help you? Okay. What day is, is good for you? We open from Tuesday to Saturday, 10 a.m. to 8 p.m. every day. This is my first time in the salon. Yes. And After it will, I'm done, it will definitely not be your last. It will not at all. You guys already have me hooked. <laughs> <laughs> what a baby doll sign it? This will be the first time someone has been in my hair since I've been in Las Vegas. And I can't <laughs> wait to see how my hair turns out. You're the solution. It's more personable. I've been to a nail salon and been turned away just because of my size and sitting in there one of their seats. So I really like this. It's comfortable. My mother has always told me you're gonna be big and you're gonna be beautiful. And who would I be not to believe my mother? <laughs> we get a lot of strippers. We get a lot of like dancers. We do get some models. We get a lot of like women that haven't been to a salon in so long older women. We get all kind of people. <laughs> all right. Okay. You ready for your wax? Yeah. Are you sure you ready? I'm going to be ready. <laughs> all right. So you should see some of the clients. They be here dancing and singing and like saying they're going to come back and everybody loves it before. It's like, I mean, I love it. I wouldn't want to go anywhere else to be honest with you. So I started getting everything done here. I mean, I know I work here, but I, I would be coming here if I didn't work here. 
We all can be glamorous, no matter what size you are, no matter what race you are, it doesn't matter, you know? We all want to feel beautiful as women, and we all can. It's, you know, it's possible. <laughs> now that I look the part, yeah. I gotta go get the part. Yeah. I love so, you. Hi, Randy, I love you too, and I'm so glad for you. I'm so happy. Thank you, my love. So I have this lady literally almost cried to me because she was so excited to be here and to, like, have a place like this that size and acceptance and that, you know, makes them feel good. So, I mean, at the end of the day, that's really what it's all about for me. I don't make, I'm not rich from this place. So, I mean, it's really like from, you know, the heart. I love it. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Ooh, I, I'm really going to go home a new woman. <laughs> <laughs> to me, to see these women feel beautiful, it means the world to me. Because I was able to do that for them. So, that's really what it's all about for me. All women deserve to be beautiful and pampered, and they're worth it. So I just want to get that message across to them.